Hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. I am Pastor Emeka Williams. Today, we are going to be talking on another boy. A very powerful and simple way to destroy the enemy with just one banana and a needle. Just one banana and a needle. Yes, like I said several times, you don't have to pity for the enemies. You don't have to relax. As long as you are on earth, you have enemies. Whether you like it or not, no matter how good you are, no matter how kind you are, no matter how nice you are to people, it's automatic you have enemies. In fact, the more blessed you are, the more enemies you will have. The more beautiful you are, the more enemies you have. The more prosperous you get, the more enemies you get. And as such, we will not give up on fighting to defend our estates. Whosoever that is seeking for your head to destroy is an enemy. And this is a recipe. This is a spiritual tip. Spiritual tips on how you can destroy your enemy without mercy. With just a needle and one banana. I can bet you this particular spiritual method is highly effective, is highly potent, and is result giving. Trust me, when we talk about this kind of spiritual tips, this kind of uh, 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 spiritual assignment, by the grace of God, I am blessed with it. So today's own is a super bomb. When he blows that power, also name, people will begin to run. Enemies will be on the run. Pains and sorrow will begin to invade their lives and everything that is connected to them. They will become so busy and forget about attacking you. That you can have rest. God bless you. I say one more time, one more time. If this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, I am Pastor Emeka Williams. And this channel is a family channel where every fan, every member is important to me. We are every member is somebody. For we all are somebody. We take our matters here with uttermost importance. Yes. And you have to become a bona fide member of this family, you know, by doing just one thing, subscribing to this channel. How do you subscribe? Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You will see a red subscribe button. Click on it and put your notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. How so and why so? So that you don't miss any information flowing from this stream of wisdom and knowledge of God. Is a grace, not anybody's power. Not my power, not by anybody's power, but by the power of Almighty God. But the scripture said in Philippians 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. So whatever we are doing here is by the strength of Jesus Christ, our Savior. So key into the moving train. Undo your enemies, incapacitate your enemies, and get your position back. Live the life that God wants you to live from the beginning. And don't forget that this channel is all about spirituality. We give spiritual tips, spiritual remedies, and help. Using natural materials and resources to solve our problems by tapping into their spiritual energies. Mm -hmm. Vibration, frequencies, and properties. So, as you continue with us, the good Lord God will bless you. Now, to my returning 
No, 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 no. I've forgotten to give you a turbo. I won't forget that. Then to my returning viewers, my old and new subscribers, the double chiefs, take your double thumbs up. You guys are good. Thank you for being there with me from day one. And all of you that are encouraging me, a hug for you, for your encouragement. May the good Lord bless you indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And I say, Amen. And to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that is far above everything that is created. I bow my head again. For to him alone can this head be bowed down to. For he is worthy of our worship. Our service. Our testimonies. Our gratitude and our appreciation. Because it takes only the grace of God to be alive. If you are alive today, make sure you are showing gratitude to the almighty God for keeping you alive. Several people that are better than you are dead and gone. So glory be to his holy name. Now, back to the topic of the day. People may be saying, some people be saying, why are you praying to destroy your enemies? I got a discussing with somebody one day. He said, Pastor, but the Bible says we should pray for our enemies. Why not pray for them to repent? I said, yes. It's good to pray for them to repent. And truly, it is good to pray for you, the enemies to repent. But there are some people that are unrepentant enemies. Even if Jesus Christ himself comes down again to come and preach to them, they will not repent. Those ones have decided to be evil and wicked all their lives. They have sold their soul to the devil to do wickedness. So the more you pray for them to repent, the stronger they become in their evil. And I say, I will not allow anybody to kill me or to mess up my life and come and repent. No, you better repent now and leave me alone. But if you refuse to repent and leave me alone, you are going to be destroyed. That is it. In Luke chapter 19 verse 27, Jesus Christ made a prayer. He said, all those my enemies that say I will not rule over them, bring them here before me and slay them. Uh -huh. And he still, he still tells God at a time or the other, say, God forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Those ones are the ones that are meant to repent. That evil spirit has possessed them to carry out the, 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 the assignment of killing Christ. So he has to pray for them. And we have to pray for our enemies. For anybody that is after you to kill you, you don't need to pray for them to be alive. Oh. Live and let's live. If you say I will not live, you will die. I won't come and kill you with ordinary hand. I will pray my prayers. It is nobody's power to kill. God decides who to take, who to destroy, who to kill, who to make alive. So if God decides to conclude a matter of an enemy and decide to take that enemy by our prayers, well and good, glory be to God. Of course, yes. These people are merciless. They will render you poor. They will render you sick. They will render you wretched. They will render you jobless. They will turn your children against you. They will turn your husband or your wife against you. Your business that is growing will collapse. You become a beggar. They are heartless. And you say you want to leave them to continue to oppress you and to mess your life up like that. No. But you have the right of choice to either do the prayers or not. Yes, I only give spiritual tips on how to deal with certain matters. I am not asking you to go and kill anybody. I disclaim. <laughs> Glory be to God. God bless you. Now, you are going to get one banana. 
get one needle and get white thread, then you are going to get your marker or your pen that can write. Then you get a banana, one banana like this. You write the name of the enemy on that banana, the target enemy. And some will say, I don't know the name of my enemies. Write it, my enemies. When you, have written, when you have written that name, my enemy, then you are going to lift the needle. You will lift the needle and hold the banana in your left hand. You will use the banana to roll over your head in an anti-clockwise motion. This is clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Like this. You use it like this. Anti-clockwise motion. Three times. Every enemy that is after my life, every unrepentant enemy that is after my soul, my family, my marriage, my children, my business, my prosperity, every enemy, whosoever and whatsoever. Today, I turn you to this banana and I remove your target, your intentions, your deeds out of my life as I roll this uh banana over my head three times with a needle in my hand i pierce you with the arrows of pains and sorrow i pierce you with the arrows of destruction i pierce you with the arrows of cat 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 catastrophe calamity i pierce you with the arrows of problems sicknesses failures affliction peer you pierce that needle inside that banana. You know, don't pass it to just pierce it inside. Let some part of that uh, needle be on this side. Some other part of the needle come out on the other side. You hold it like that. Then you are going to now get that white thread. And you now use it to bind that needle, bind that banana. You tie the rope. Tie the rope. You know, when the needle has passed through, it becomes a, like a cross form. The needle has come from here and passed here through the banana. So you are tying like this. You tie like this. You tie like this. You roll it and tie and tie and tie. When you have finished tying it, you will now hold the banana again. You will make this decree. As this banana is going to decay, you that man, you that woman, that has put me in the situation of sorrow, pain, and misery. So will your body begin to decay. So will sorrow and misery begin to befall you. As long as nothing will be able to stop this banana from decaying, nothing that you will do that will make you escape. You cannot escape. I connect to you wherever you are hiding. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you now go and throw that banana into the refuse bin. I didn't say bury it. I said throw it into the refuse bin. And wait and hear scores. Wait and gain it. Hear scores. And let me warn you, when suddenly somebody that you used to think is a friend becomes sick, terribly sick, all of a sudden, and they call you. Don't pray for that person. No. That means your prayer has caught up with them. If you pray for them, they will be well, and the thing will backfire you. One wicked man that was after me and my wife that wanted to kill us. When his evil backfired him, the wife came to call me to come and pray. Pray for the man. He's sick. The man sent me stroke and paralysis. God returned it to him. Then I came and called me. Come and pray. Hey, daddy, come and pray. My husband. I said, okay, I'm coming. When I entered inside the house, I got an information not to go and pray that if I go and pray for him, he will be well and I will be the one to die. I said, eh. The woman came back after 10 minutes. I told him, I said, God said I should not pray for your husband. I am not praying. Within a month, the wicked man 
traveled and never returned to the land of the living. He killed himself by trying to touch the Lord's anointed. I pray for you. Anybody that want to cut short your life will pay with their own life. Do this assignment and come back with testimony. Don't forget to like my video, share my video, subscribe to my channel. Write your comment at the comment section down below. If there's anything you want us to discuss, you want me to do for you one-on-one, -on -one, chat me on WhatsApp. God bless you. Till we meet again in my next video, I love you. Hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. Today, we are going to be talking on a very vital, important, and very powerful topic. A method by which you can disorganize and destroy every stronghold, horns of the wicked that has refused you from lifting up your head. Today, we are going to teach you on how you can dismantle these formidable forces that has risen up against your destiny by using a horn and a hammer. These forces of the wicked are called the horns of the wicked, according to the Bible. And when you are under the stronghold or surveillance or siege of these horns of the wicked, you are not permitted to excel in any part of your life. You are not permitted to prosper because whatever you do is being monitored. Whatever you do is being frustrated. Whatever you do is being uh -uh, attacked. There are powers that say this one will never rise up. But let us go to the Bible quickly so you will have a better understanding of what I am teaching this morning. Anyway, it might not be your morning wherever you are, but there and now it's my morning time here. So it could be your afternoon, it could be your evening, it could even be your midnight or the earlier hours of the day. Now, let me get the Bible. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 to the end. Let's see what the Bible has to say as a regard to the horns of the wicked. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 19. I am reading from the Bible. And it says, from verse 18 rather. See, then I lift up my eyes. Excuse me. I take that again. Then I lift up my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Chai. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to free them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. These horns are powers. These horns are authorities. These horns are men. These horns are wicked altars that scatter the destiny of the people of God. That refuse the people of God, you and I, from lifting up our heads in prosperity. But God sent divine carpenters to come and do the job to incapacitate and discomfit these horns of the wicked. Now, before we go there, if this is your first time of coming in contact with this phase, I am Pastor Emeka Williams. 
your own brother. And I am here on this channel, we discuss basically on spirituality. We teach ourselves on how to use natural materials, natural resources, harnessing their spiritual energies, properties, vibrations, and frequencies in order to solve man's problem. I can bet it with you, God has blessed nature and has imbibed all kinds of blessings into nature. So it is our responsibility to harness the spiritual benefits of these natural materials in order to solve our problems. And that is what this channel is all about, spirituality. Mm. God bless you one more time for joining this channel. Now, you have to become a bona fide member of this family by subscribing to my channel. Yes. How do you subscribe? Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You will see a red subscribe button. Click on it and put your notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. Why is that necessary? So that you don't miss out from the stream of knowledge and wisdom that is flowing from this channel. Each of my videos from the first second to the last second is loaded with information. And you know, information is power. God bless you. And I pray that whatever is your reason for coming online and coming in contact with this channel, the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob shall grant it unto you with ease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To my... Uh, Regular viewers, my returning viewers, my old and new subscribers, your double thumbs up. Thank you. As you continue with this channel, God will continue to rain more blessings on you. And to God, I lift up all glory who has kept you and I alive till this time. Glory, honor, and adoration be unto his holy name. For every testimonies that any one of us has gotten as a result of following the tips from this channel, I return all the glory back to the living God, for he alone has the abilities, capabilities, and power to do all things. Now, if you are ready for this ride, let's go there. Don't touch that dial. Talking about how to dislodge the horns of the wicked, how to incapacitate the authorities and powers and stronghold of the enemies over your life, the wicked powers of your father's house, the wicked environmental enemies, the wicked unfriendly friends around your places of works, your residence, they say this one we will not allow you to move forward. You will never get better than us. And because they have some spiritual powers, they are using it to manipulate your divine mandate. Now, when you talk about those horns, as the Bible said it, he said, these are the horns that refuse Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem from lifting up their heads. He went ahead and said, these are the horns of the Gentiles that scatter Judah and Jerusalem. So, whatever you try to gather, they will use their evil horns, their evil authorities and powers to scatter it. But in this particular video, this is a very strong tip on how to Strike back the authorities of the wicked over your life and dismantle them. Unfortunately for us, God sent divine carpenters. And carpenters are known to operate with hammer. That is why demonstrationally-wise, we are using the, a horn and a hammer. Now, you can get the horn of any kind of animal. Any kind of horn is okay for this prophetic assignment. Get a horn. Get your hammer. You are going to write on that horn every evil authority. Every evil authority. That's number one. Every evil authority. Number two, 
every evil stronghold. I repeat, every evil stronghold. Number three, every evil strong man. I repeat that. Every evil strong man. Number four, every evil strong woman. I am telling you, brethren, if these people would never deal with you, you won't understand. You won't know how to fight back. But if you've been there, hmm, nobody will tell you to pray. Nobody will tell you to, to exhaust every method of prayer you can, you can lay your hands upon in order to fight this battle. Your enemies are not relaxing. They are not giving up. So you don't have to give up. You have to be on fire every time. Bomba to bomba. They fire you, you fire them. But I can assure you, as long as you are on the Lord's side, you have made your ways right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is backing you up. Darkness never overcome light, even for once, since the creation began and forever. So as long as you are on the side of the light, you will always win at the end of the day. Because at the end of every tunnel, there is light. So when you have written all this on the horns you are holding. You will hold the horn and pray over the horn. I am using this horn in my hand as a point of contact and as a representative to every horns of the wicked, every powers of the wicked that has held me captive. Can I shock you? Several years ago, When I was under severe spiritual attacks, you know, then I get, I got converted newly, and it was like all hell was let loose. Different of battles, attacks from all kinds of places, coming out from a strong native traditional family. You know what it means to now come out and say, "Ah, I'm, a, I'm born again. I'm a pastor." My friend, be ready for war. Because every principalities and powers of your father's household will come after you. Even enemies around the environment will go and begin to activate the gods of your father's house to go after you. Because you are not going to be tagged as a rebel. <laughs> you become a rebel of the family. In fact, they will call you the black sheep of the family. That's true. And the honest truth about it is, it's not always an easy battle, but when God sends you, he will always back you up. He will allow you to go through those battles, through those challenges, through those torments, in order to make you tough and strong. So, it's not every challenge you are passing through that is from the devil. At times, it is orchestrated by God in order to toughen you for the task ahead. For to whom much is given... <laughs> Much is also expected. So I stumbled over this particular scripture. Zechariah chapter 1 from verse 18 to 21. And I went and did this secret that I'm revealing to you now, this prayer. I began to pray. Every horse of the wicked that is resisting me, Emeka Williams, from lifting up my head as the Lord has ordained for me. Let me tell you, everybody has a destiny to fulfill. And anything that is resisting your fulfillment of that destiny is a horn of the wicked. Father, by fire, by thunder, every horse of the wicked from the place I was born, from my father's household, from my, there is no name I did, every location I connected to them. Holy Ghost, by your thunder, oh yeah, divine carpenters, as I break, oh yeah, begin to scatter. After that prayer, in the night I had a dream, a revelation a dream. An old man brought a horn, tied with a white rope all over, he said, take, I was forced to tie your destiny here. 
but take it and lose it. Yeah? I said, no. You are the one that tied it. You are the one that is going to lose it. Oh yeah, I command you, lose what you have tied in the name of Jesus Christ. And the old man began to lose it. As he was losing the rope from the on, he said, I didn't do it intentionally. I was compelled to do it. And as he was losing the rope from the on, I woke up. And I can tell you from that day on, my life turned around. Things began to turn easy for me. Little by little, things were changing. Things were unfolding. And God took me to this land he has taken me to so far, which I am still going far. Because this is just morning. We are just beginning. So what am I trying to say? These mysteries are hidden from the eyes of the ordinary man. The Bible says, a carnal man does not understand the things of the spirit. So whether you believe in prophetic action or not, you know, consign me. It's not my business. As many that believe, they practice it in the name of the Lord with sincere heart and connecting to the right spirit of God. You will get your result. Jesus is a spiritualist. And every child of God must also be a spiritualist. He spat on the ground and made a more than John chapter 9 and used it to, to open the eyes of a blind man. Spiritual action. God told Isaiah in Isaiah 20, he said, go and walk naked for three and a half years. Prophetic instruction. In Jeremiah 19, he told Jeremiah, go and buy native pots, potter's eating vessel. He said, take some elders and go to the valley of the sons of the Hinnom and say there, thus said the Lord, as I break this pot, so I scatter, I break the people of this area. He made that pronouncement. He said, after speaking, break the pot. Is God diabolic? Is God an African juju man? They will tell you this is African ways of doing things. Which African way? It's a biblical way of doing things. It's a godly way of doing things. So, believe it, exercise it, and God will honor your feet. So, whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. God, as I break this onslaught of the wicked physically, Papa, locate whosoever, whatsoever that is behind my problem, that is making me to rise and fall, that is making me to gather and it scatters, that is making me not to have headway. Hunts of the wicked. You use it as a point of contact to them. Then you lift your hammer. Sorry, I've been looking for my hammer since morning. I can't find where the hammer is. And I will not because of I did not see the hammer and I will not pass the message that I want to pass across to you people. You know what is called a hammer? That carpenters used to hit nails. That is the hammer I'm talking about. So when you have blessed your hammer, you declare it a spiritual token in order to war. Then get your horn. Set it on the ground where you can break it. And begin to pray. You read your Psalm 35 because it is war time. You read your Psalm 35. You read your Psalm 109. Hold on. Before I give you the last scripture for this particular exercise, let me advertise a little bit. You know, I, your brother, the pastor Emeka Williams himself, I have products for sale, spiritual charged products produced by me naturally, locally, and the handmade spiritual materials that mm -mm, God is using in these days and time to bring the manifestation of his power and to set the captives free, cause breaking and the road opening soap, back to sender soap, how may not soap, favor soap, love and attraction soap. We have the cream version of it and the oil version of it. 
Then I also add the spiritual detox. The body spiritual cleanser. It cleanses you of all evil arrow. This one is moving in my body, uh, moving objects all over my body. You've been fed in the dreams. You've had sexual intercourse in the dreams and they are projected negativity inside your body and it's causing hatred, causing all manner of afflictions. This Equable Plus Spiritual Detox is available for you. It's the right one for you. They are manipulating you through the dreams. It causes breaking. So are you under any spell or cause? Use these products and you will get your freedom back. We ship to any part of the world. All you need to do is discuss with me. Chat me up on WhatsApp and let's discuss on how these products will get to your doorstep. DHL FedEx at your doorstep with the speed of light. And you may want me to help you out in any spiritual uh, matters that you feel your energy is not strong enough to carry. Let us discuss on my ch WhatsApp chat. Then I will tell you what it takes for me to come in and help you. God bless you as you continue with me. Now, quickly, I have said Psalm 35. I've said Psalm 109. The third Psalm you are going to read is Psalm 24. Then when you have read that Psalm 24, you lift your armor up. And you begin to decree. As I break this on, oh yeah, every ounce of the wicked, you wicked authority, you wicked author, you wicked man, you wicked woman that is standing as the ounce of the wicked, scattering my gatherings, refusing me from raising up my head, I scatter you. Bah! Wherever you are, I locate you spiritually and physically. I hammer your head. Eat by, eat by, eat by, eat by, eat by. You get angry and you begin to strike. And after that prayer, Gather the remnant of that ounce that you have broken. Burn it. It may take it may take time to burn because you know it is a, a bit strong. But make sure you burn it. Melt it. So you melt their power. You break their power. You melt their power. And whatever remnant you have after that, you discard it. I will be bringing this video to an end at this juncture. If you have found this video interesting. Please like my video, share my videos, and if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to this channel. So we meet again in my next video. Stay well, I love you.